Okay, I want you to listen to this testimony of this ex-witch, all right? And this is why it is important for believers to pray, all right? This is why. As I always said, you know, especially I put my last video about building a relationship with God and um, the importance of prayer. A prayerless Christian is a pow powerless Christian. You're not going to be able to stand against the force of darkness without a prayer life. But watch this testimony and you're going you're gonna to see what I'm saying. So it's because you were actually involved in this, in this cult mm -hmm. in attacking Christians, weren't you? Yes. Um, so... We, so I was a channeler. Um, I talked to the demons and we, re they relayed messages to the rest of the cult through me. And their goal was really just to cause chaos. Um, but later on, um, I was 16 when, uh, I'm just going to say it, uh, I met Satan himself, mm -hmm. uh, which really obviously shocking um <laughs> and his priority for us it changed the trajectory of the cult and we started attacking just christians going after clergy specifically um we had names addresses workplaces um and that's what we did we just harassed christians mm. so and that's <laughs> going on now isn't it i mean that's oh yeah yeah. There are assignments on uh, people yes. who are actively engaged in uh, in worshiping and ministering, uh, mm -hmm. including now yourself. So we pray, we plead the blood of Jesus yes. Christ over you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> that the Lord has victory because you realized uh, as this was going on that there were certain Christians or certain people mm -hmm. that would not be at the effect of of these uh, these prayer or these chance or these uh right you know, these practices yep. so uh i would actually travel in the spirit astral projection to um influence i don't know lust or something on a christian and uh in the spirit i would see like a dome like a blue dome over uh, groups of Christians that were praying or uh, just through the, all those experiences, I connected that we could not attack Christians as they were actively praying protection from God. Like there was a no go zone, just no, absolutely no power. All right. Did you hear that? Take note of that. They could not attack Christians as they were actively praying. All right, just take note of that. All right, let's keep going. So that's, I love it now. Like, like yes, <laughs> thank you, God. Um, but back then, it, it made me very angry. It made the demons very angry. Um, and so at that point, that made me curious. How is this possible? How can Christians have this power to just nullify the demonics completely? So, uh, <laughs> uh, it, I, well, it's, it's the Lord's prayer, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. that will be done and, uh, lead me not unto temptation, but deliver me from evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, that Jesus mm -hmm. gave that prayer and you're, you're testifying that in fact, when we do that, pray the, uh, uh, the enemy, God's enemy, the minions of demons and what have you cannot affect mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's perfect protection. Nothing can get through. So uh, I take very great comfort in that now. <laughs> and um, yes. Satan is defeated. Yeah, he doesn't have any power. It's all an illusion. And uh, I wish more people grasped that. <laughs> yes, it is true. You know, it's sad. A lot of um, Christians have not come to the reality of this. You know, Satan is defeated. You know, we have a lot of these videos going around, you know, where of, um, you know, this type of attack, monitoring experience, witchcraft. And we know that they're out there. It's good to be educated on these subject matters. All right. It's good to be educated on the tactics of the of the of the enemy. All right. As the Bible tells us not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. All right. But we should not fear those things. 
because he has no power. He's already defeated. Jesus Christ has all power. Jesus Christ said, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. All right. Jesus Christ is Lord. That's why those attacks cannot attack those praying Christians because they are in the refuge of God. All right. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and it's safe. All right. The name of Jesus has power. All right. We have to understand that we as Christians, as believers, we have a power and authority through Christ Jesus to trample on serpents and scorpions and all power of the enemy. Nothing in any wise shall harm us. So I pray that you take this video to heart. And I pray that this really encourage you even more to build that prayer life with God through Jesus Christ. All right. Be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.